I think London's mostly like one of the hardest places to skate. The grittiness, the weather, everything's just so gnarly. But at the same time, I think when when you're a Londoner, it's just second nature, and it's just like yeah, like this is what we skate. This is what I'm gonna have to skate. I don't know if there's a spot that can tell you that it's perfect in London. There's a perfect spot to the individual, yes, but there's not one spot that you can get everyone to agree on that is perfect. South Bank is far from perfect, but it's perfect for the people that ride it. It wasn't made for skating, so if it was made for skating, it wouldn't be the way it is now. It would be something completely different. you got South Bank. Those, to me anyway, are like the two legendary spots in Europe. They've just been built on an architectural level where like it's just perfect for skating. Every nationality has come through South Bank. It rubs off on all of us and then we can like just interpret loads of different styles and then I'll try and like, okay, like maybe twist it or like try and do it a different way or even the same way but different like, just like my way of doing it. South Bank Undercroft is the world's oldest surviving skate spot and known globally as the birthplace of British skateboarding. We prove that you can't move history but you can make it and we're about to make some more. We're about to unlock the Undercroft and rebuild the small banks. So I'm kind of looking forward to just it being open and seeing the kind of older lot skating it. Like, just kind of see like how it's meant to actually be skated. For you, lot, it's like kind of for like a like a rebirth, but for us, it's like it's like a new beginning. <laughs>